What's up everyone, back for another beer review and today I'll be reviewing yet another beer from the Dewey Beer Company and they are out of Dewey Beach, Delaware. And this is their secret machine, the Pomegranate Coconut Mousse variant. So this is an Imperial Sour Ale that is brewed with pomegranate, coconut, and chocolate. Comes in at 9% alcohol by volume. No IBUs less than time of review. This can is approximately two months old. I wanna give a huge thanks and shout out once again to a very good friend of mine and viewer of the channel, Alex, for hooking me up with this one. So thank you very much, Alex. I truly do appreciate it. In the description box, I'll post a link to the beer mail unboxing video I did that contains all the goodies that Alex sent my way. And I was really happy to see another secret machine because the first one he sent me, which forget exactly what it was, but it was tangerine, vanilla, and a couple other um, adjuncts. It was delicious. It was like a tangerine creamsicle, one of the better uh, sour ales that I've had uh, this year, or certainly recently. And uh, this one sounds strangely uh, inviting, but also quite weird. I mean, pomegranate, coconut, and chocolate. I don't know what they're going for. Uh, just, you know, some weird ingredients, I guess, mixed together and 9% uh, imperial sour. Hopefully it's delicious. So anyway, we'll throw this over here. As you can see, it has been poured and that's because of beers like this. I pour them off camera uh, just in case they explode. This one did not explode. It did not at all. And as you can see, I believe this is almost an eight, it might be a 17 ounce glass, but every single drop from the can went into the glass, didn't go anywhere else. So we should be fine. Anyway, look at the color on this one. It's beautiful. There is a chunk over here that I'm seeing. Uh, wow, that's crazy, a big chunk. But um, that looks you know, beautiful. That has like this really deep, almost like black cherry kind of look to it. Uh, very uh, murky and turbid. I had about a half finger of this like tannish type of head that is now displayed to a thin film, but overall looks like a pretty beautiful sour. So let's get a nose on it. Hmm. So the pomegranate is there and in, in, in pomegranate, if you've never had it, I mean, it has a unique character like most fruits do. Kind of just has a reminiscent um, kind of uh, aroma pomegranate like it, 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 it does. Not getting any coconut. And the chocolate is kind of coming off as like, in the aroma, what it smells like to me is a Tootsie Pop. The chocolate's coming off more of like, uh, more of like a caramel or um, like a toffee type of like, like, a, like a caramelized sugar, but not quite chocolate. And then that pomegranate's kind of covering it. So it's like a Tootsie Roll if they, if they had a pomegranate one. That's kind of what I'm getting in the nose. It smells like it's gonna be like tart, not sour. It doesn't have like a big puckering factor on the nose. It doesn't smell like, it doesn't have a vinegar-esque kind of nose to it or anything. Yeah, it smells pretty good. I can't tell you it's 9%. There's no really detection of that in the aroma, but in general, it smells pretty good. So let's give it a go. Cheers, everybody. And thanks again, Alex. Yeah, it's like a Tootsie Pop. That's fucking cool. That is a cool ass beer. It is pretty sweet. Holy shit. So right up front, I don't know why I had the gesture kink sideways. Right up front, um, the logo that is, the um, you can tell it's really sweet. It's a really sweet sour, tons of sweetness. Uh, it has like a fruity sweetness, like a pomegranate sweetness. It mixed in with like a big chocolate, but also like caramel and toffee, like caramelized sugars. Like I said, right right at the get go, right from the get go, um, and that's very noticeable. Mm hmm. As it starts passing through the palate, a little bit of that tartness pops in mid-palate. This is like a lower tartness of a beer. This is a sweeter, more pastry-esque pastry sour as opposed to like an actual sour. Very easy to drink. I like that I can taste the pomegranate and the chocolate to some degree. Here's the thing, no coconut for me. And if you follow the channel, you know I'm a coconut fiend, so that's kind of a bummer at the same time. I don't know how well coconut would work in this for me if I was actually picking it up. It finishes to the sweeter side of things. This is, like I said, a sweet sour. I'm gonna be able to drink the rest of this, but I think if you don't have a sweet tooth, you probably wouldn't be able to put this one away. Certainly not a 16 ounce can. This would be a sharing beer for people that don't have a sweet tooth, but you wanna try it. Um, it has like an acidic kind of, yeah, like an acidic kind of finish not really big and acidic but just a little bit there kind of letting you know yeah it is a sour beer uh the body mouthfeel on this one the body uh, i mean it's not percent so i was gonna say a little bit bigger than anticipated but not really it's like higher side of medium lower side of full body so it has a nice thickness the mouthfeel there's carbonation here but it's softly carbonated 
It's soft and smooth, not really creamy, but it has a nice soft smoothness to it. Yeah, the thing I will say about this one is it's not overly complex at all. I'm getting the pomegranate, and if you've never had a pomegranate or, or you've never had um, anything like any kind of like pomegranate juice or anything, you might just say it's like generic fruitiness that's coming off kind of like a berry-esque kind of quality or maybe like a cherry, but it has a fruitiness to it. It has the chocolate there. Like I said, caramelized sugars, caramel toffee. Comes off as like a Tootsie Roll in beer form, or Tootsie Pop, I should say, not roll. Let me take it back. Tootsie Pop specifically in beer form. And it's really easy to drink. Um, the ABV, I can't tell you this is 9% drinking like it's six. It's very scary. It's hiding the alcohol extremely well to the point where I'm kind of concerned because I'm going to probably put this back. Even though it's sweeter, I'm going to drink this quite quickly, I think. But uh, yeah, overall, Secret Machine, the Pomegranate Coconut Mousse. Uh, rating on this one, whew, I'm going to give this a uh, low 4.25 out of 5. I'm going to go 4.15 out of 5. I think that's a good score. I would like to see this one to be a little bit more tart, approaching sour, a little less sweet, and I'd like to see the coconut. If that was to happen, this would be like a four and a half all day, as is a 4.15 out of 5 is a good score, I think. Um, I'm really enjoying it. Uh, it. It is, like I said, sweet, but I'm getting two of the three adjuncts, and uh, I really like that Tootsie Pop kind of feel. I don't think I've ever had a beer where I've actually said Tootsie Pop is like a tasting note, but here we are. Uh, price and availability, I believe it was $20 a four pack for this. Uh, might be 22 but I think it's $20 a four-pack and brewery only. If you're not in Dewey Beach, you probably don't get your hands on these unless you trade for them. Uh, but really cool of Alex to send another secret machine. I'll take all the secret machines. Anybody out there listening, give me all the secret machines because from the couple I've had, they've been fucking absolutely delicious. And uh, this one, pretty much the same. So, yeah, if you've had this one before or any beers from Dewey uh, Beer Company, any of the secret machines, let me know what you think about it. Like I said, this is a really good beer. Hides the alcohol well. Uh, body and mouthfeel are pretty much appropriate, and I'm getting all the adjuncts outside of coconut. Just wish it was a little bit more sour, a little less sweet, and I was actually getting the coconut. But as is, can't really complain. So thanks again to Alex for hooking me up with this one. Thanks to everybody stopping by for another beer review here on the Beer Patrol. Until the next one. Cheers.